Hey everyone, my name is Sam and I am a sophomore on the softball team. Um, I want to start off my talk with a Bible verse. So 1 Corinthians 9.25 says, Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. This Bible verse is something that I wanted to focus on for my talk. I think Mitchell sums it up pretty well um, at the beginning of every sports update that we were all given special gifts and talents and we use them to bring glory to God. Um, our sports are tools to strengthen our relationship with God, um, but they should not replace our relationship with God. I think that's super important. I think it's something that I've also been able to explicitly differentiate this year. Um, I definitely used to idolize my sport in high school and it was not healthy. It was not, it was not fulfilling at all. Um, I cared about what my coaches thought, what my teammates thought. I cared about my performance and my mood drastically changed depending on how well I did that day. Um, it was very unfulfilling and did feel that way until I came to college. But once I got involved with AAA, I learned a pretty life-changing lesson. Um, and that's that God doesn't really care about the outcome of that day or how good or how poorly you performed that day on the field or the court or wherever. Um, our sport is not where our identity is. Um, our identity should lie in Christ and that is fulfilling enough regardless of how you perform on the field, um, regardless of how, what people think of you. Um, it really puts in perspective that you are a child of God and that is enough. Um, I'm not saying that I successfully implemented this into my life. There are definitely days that I still get down on myself because of my performance. Um, but I think that it is a choice to make every day the day to follow Christ. And that choice shouldn't stop at sports. I think sports can strengthen that. I think that we can use that as a tool to get closer with God. Um, I think of it as training, just like the Bible verse said. Um, we train day in, day out, weight room, field, training room, um, to be better at our sport. And it is a sport that will bring us a crown, but it's not going to last. And I think that if we trained the same way or more than we do for our sport, with our relationship with God, um, that crown that we get from that relationship is something that's going to last us forever. And that will satisfy us for eternity. And that's something that is worth all of this training. And that's something that I want to prosper that's to see prosper um, more than I want to do well in my sport. And that's a perspective that I've also gained these past couple years. So yeah, I would say that for me, I'm still learning how to be a total athlete and I'm still, still practicing and still getting the hang of it. Um, but I have found peace in the fact that my sport doesn't define me. Um, and I'm now playing to praise and honor God. And I think A is a really cool place where you where I've met amazing people that are also trying to do the same thing and that we're learning together and growing together and watching each other be successful on and off the field, which I think is super amazing um, and something that I really cherish and um, I'm super grateful for.